Hi guys, welcome to this Microsoft Physio session. What I would like to do in this module is have a look at how to do value stream mapping. So here I have a basic one on the screen, but I'm going to recreate this from scratch using the file new option. So file new. So this is what you would do to start. Now you can see it sitting there on mine because I've just been into it. But if, if I hadn't been into it, it would be in categories and under business. And then you have to just find it in this list. And there it is at the bottom of mine, value stream map. So I'll click on that. It asks me to create it, create, and I'll start off with a blank screen. So I want, first of all, top right, you go customer, and top left, supplier. So I'm going to type into that one, supplier, and customer on the right customer and then I want a control production control sitting in the middle of those two so I'll just push that in there and call it control just bring the screen down a little bit center that slightly so I'm just going to call this one control but you can call it whatever you want so this is the communication part of the value stream map so let's put some communication lines in so there's a, a, a symbol indicating an email, maybe some electronic communication. So let's say it comes from the customer. So the customer might be ordering something. And then you've got an email coming from control into the suppliers. And that is a very simplistic communication line. The next line is the actual production line. So we now need to create some processes. So in this example, I just want to create um, three very simple processes one two just line over there slightly three and this is going to be build machines this one is going to be install software and this one is going to be user profile Now you can add some information on each of these. So data table is what I'm going to put under each of them. This first one, make it a little bit wider. And then I'm just going to double click in there. And CT cycle time for this one is going to be one hour. And then just make a space there. Maybe I've got some setup time, which is five minutes. And you can put some other information in there if you want. But for this example, that's it. Then another one for that one. And obviously, if you're doing this all the time, you'd create a stencil. Um, so you've got these shapes straight away already set up and the right size and everything. So cycle time for installing the software is going to be two hours. And setup time is also going to be five minutes. And then the last one, installing the user profile which takes a little bit longer. So let's say the cycle time on this one is going to be four hours. Setup time still going to be five minutes. Now, obviously, you don't just type this stuff. You find out by having some sort of analysis in your factory how this all happens, and then you set these things up, and then you can identify where you can save time. So let's have some inventory. Let's say there's some stock comes in there. And we have some stock sitting there. Move it up a little bit. In fact, if I uh, if I'd go view, put the grid lines on, might help me. And some stock sits there for a length of time. So that one can move up a little bit, so it's on the same line. And then that one can move up, so that's on the same line. And then we have stock at the end, sits in the factory before it actually gets shipped to the customer so shipment arrows come in now so we're going to get stuff coming in from the supplier to sit in the factory it comes in by truck but you, if you have any icon there and then it goes out by truck as well to the customer snap it on like that and then we can put some numbers on these so let's say we have a thousand 
machines turn up. Then at this phase, usually there is uh, 500 sitting there with a 100 there and usually 400 ready to ship. And that's a, a flow that goes through the factory. Now that, that is the production side of it. This is 100% accurate guys, but obviously you'd have to make sure it was in your situation. The last part of this diagram is to put a timeline across the bottom. So timeline segments of these. So you line them up with your processes. You move that little yellow circle. Now the time for this process was one hour. And then you need another segment, so you get another segment and you join it on and again you readjust that so it sits neatly underneath the process. So for this one it was two hours and then another segment and you line that one up and this one becomes four hours and that's the segments nearly lined up. So I missed this one off a little bit. Just glue that in. And at the end you have a timeline total, which you stick at the end. And you can bring that in a little bit. Just take that back that way. So you add up the dead time and add up the process time. So the process time we've already done. So that's one hour, two hours, three hours altogether, four hours. So process time is seven hours. Downtime, let's say this stuff sits in the factory for um, two days. It sits at that process for three days and it sits at this process for two days and it sits there ready to ship for two days. So altogether you've got two, five, seven, nine days. Downtime, nine days. So basically things aren't earning any money for nine days you've only got a processing time of seven hours so that's quite a short time so if this was a true representation of your processes you would be looking at not having all this stock sitting waiting for this length of time and trying to shift it quicker how you do that is it's totally up to you guys you'd have to work that out yourself but this is very a very simple example of a value stream map and if you want to know any more about this you can learn quite a lot about it already on the internet. There's loads and loads of diagrams showing you how this all works. But if this was um, a, how your process was, you could then save this as a template and, and then you start from this point and then you fill in these boxes with, with the relevant bits of information. But that's all I want to talk about today. Thank you for your time and I'll see you in the next one.